Howdy. So yeah, there's actually one more section that I uh, kind of forgot about in the last video, but let's go ahead and uh, finish this lesson up. So devising even a simple storage format, so per way to persistently store the um, in, re uh, in memory representation of the objects in our applications is tricky. Uh, we gave a very uh, kind of simple introduction to this, and we didn't acknowledge a lot of the fringe cases. For instance, what happens if a movie title has a comma? This kind of throws off our whole CSV format scheme, right? Because a comma is supposed to delimit one field from the next. What happens if one field actually um, has a comma as a character within it? We'd obviously have to update our encoding scheme and maybe we attempt to accommodate this by surrounding each field with quotation marks and going through the motions to actually ensure our implementation addresses this. Well, this is all good until someone tells us about the movie Waiting for Superman, which has quotation marks in the title. So we're not going to you know, go through and figure out how to resolve all this today, but the important thing to take away from this is this is a the whole serialization and deserialization process is a tricky business. It's um, it's never as uh, trivial as uh, you know one one might uh, assume it is on the first pass. So I, I just want to wrap up with some brief uh, commentary on advantages and disadvantages of using the plain text uh, format for serialization deserialization. Um, Advantages, it's adequate to represent flat data structure where each record has information about one type of object. It can get tricky if you're like repeating um, object kind of, if there's some sort of relationship between the objects being stored within, um, within a, uh, the record stored in a file. One of the, though, if, if it's just, if there's no such relationship, it's pretty straightforward. Another nice thing is it is uh, human readable. We can open it up in a text editor or pretty much any of the other mini software packages that allows us to read and write them and interact with them almost freely. And the other, I guess, advantage, depending on how you're looking at it, is um, essentially the actual encoding scheme is bytes of characters. Um, it's a uh, very basic of, you know, uh, unit of information, and it's very uh, trivial to decode. There are some disadvantages though to using the plain text format. It's going to be inadequate to represent complex data structures. And we'll talk about this a little bit uh, more when we get into binary files, as well as uh, when we transition from um, kind of this file scheme and into databases. It can uh, lead to a redundancy of values stored within it. I'll let you think about how that might occur. Um, as we saw with the um, kind of searching for data um, within an actual find, of finding actual values can be difficult if we wanted to access them directly. So with the plain text uh, format, a lot of times we're just reading everything into memory, and that can be uh, problematic if everything is a very large number of records. If we're looking for a read, uh, it, it would take many reads to find a specific record, depending on how that file is delimited and the format thereof. And then if we want to actually update or delete, say, um, a record, a group of records that will take uh, many reads and writes to accomplish.